Hello Excel champions, it's William aka Dr. Excel. Today I'm going to show you which function to use in Excel to display the current date, um, the current month and the current year using Excel formulas. So I'm gonna show you right away how to do this and you can download the final file with all the formulas, everything uh, right below the video so you can download it and follow with me how I build it. Um, so first to access the uh, current date we can use a very simple function which is called today um, so uh, what's cool about this function is that it always returns the day um, the current day uh, each um, each time it's calculated so if you uh, reopen this file in three days uh, and re recompute so here my uh, my calculation uh, mode is automatic so it's gonna recompute automatically as soon as I open the file uh, and that's uh, most likely your case. Um, whenever you open it, it's going to compute and put the date of today. You know, so if if I'm uh, with the seventh of January, if I open it in three days, it's going to recompute and use the tenth of January, which is really cool because then you can base, um, you can display information and make some um, calculations based on that date. So that's how to display the current date. Uh, of course, you can change how you display it. So that's just the um, that's just the data. You have the date of today, which is actually a number. It's a number, a date in Excel. It's always a number of days which have passed since January first, nineteen hundred. So it's a number of days. If you want to um, to display it in another manner, you can change the format uh, using this data. For example, you can use uh, a long date format to have Monday, January seventh. Uh, and so on uh, and this is actually one way you can use it to display the current month and current year if it's just a you know a display uh, you want to use you can use for the month you can use the same data and for the format you're going to use um, a, uh, a uh, like a, a custom format so you make right click format cells and you're going to go into number custom format and um, since you just want the month you're gonna put MMMM which means um, just use the month and put in full details so here it's gonna put January and if I put uh, I'm gonna modify this I'm gonna put uh, if I put uh, March you see it's gonna update and put March um, so that's and of course since it's based on today so for example you could use it you could use today here as well. You can base it, you could base it directly on the formula. Uh, and it's going to display always the current month. And same thing, if you want to uh, display the current year, you could use, um, you could do, use what? Same data, you use today to have the current uh, year, the current day, and you only display the year. You do a custom format and you put, um, Four wise if you want to display 2019 for example uh, and here it's going to be same it's going to be a date but with a specific format now if you want actually to access the data so if you want to know uh, as a number for example uh, which is the current month if we are in august you want to access to the figure eight to the number eight uh, or here in that case in january the number one um, here in that cell F2, you actually have all the data. You have the same as here, you have the date. So uh, you have to make some computation to extract to extract only the month. Um, and in that case, we have a function we can use and we're gonna use a month to compute the month. So for example, to have the current month, we're gonna compute month of today. So which month are we today? And it's gonna tell us um, one for January and it's going to update uh, each time with the, the file so in eight months it's going to be August so it's going to display um, it's going to display eight here and the cool thing is since it's a number computed we can reuse it in formula so if you here if I take this plus two months I get three okay same thing for you for the year if you want to um, to access the number 2019 you have to compute which is the date of the year of today 
of the which is the year of the current date and there's a, a function year as well so you're going to take year of today uh, which is going to extract only the year part of the current date and it's going to give you the um, uh, well the the date as a number what's interesting to see is let's say I add two to um, to both of these number here I, I add two here I add two this is to make you understand well how it works here 2019 I had two uh, why is it still 2019 because actually I, I added two to the date so it means I added two days so here we have um, the date of today where I display only the date which is the 7th of January and here I did two so it's on the 9th of January uh, and when I display only the year it's still the same year it's still 2019 whereas here I have the only the year so uh, when I had two, I actually had two to the number of years to, the, to this number, 2019, which is not considered as a date anymore in that case. Um, so be careful when you uh, manipulate dates to make sure uh, what kind of data you manipulate. So uh, this is how to display the current uh, date, month and year in Excel. You can use these formulas. I let you download the file right below the video. There's going to be a link for you. Um, and I'll see you tomorrow for a new Excel tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe. This, year, this way you will, you will be notified as soon as I publish it. See you champions. Ciao.